Welcome back to study tips for IGCSE Mathematics. Today's topic is related to line, angle, and shape. Without further delay, let's begin. Lines and angle. Terms point. A point shown on paper using a dot or a cross. Most often, we use point where two lines meet. Points on a grid as a, as a position or coordinate. Example, like the coordinate B, 2 to 3, means that X is at the position of 2 and Y at the position of 3. Lines. A line is a straight, one-dimensional figure that extends to infinity in both directions. The word line is used to talk about the shortest distance between the two points, A to B. So line are named using starting points and ending points. Parallel. A pair of line that are the same distance apart all along their length are parallel. The symbol parallel is used for parallel line. Example, A to B is parallel to C to D. Lines that are parallel are marked on the diagram as arrow. Angle. When two lines meet at a point, they form an angle. The meeting point is called the vertex of the angle, and the two lines are called the arm of the angle. Angles are named using three letters. The letter at the end of one arm, the letter at the vertex, and the letter at the end of the other arm. Example, A, B, B, C. The letter in the middle of the angle indicates the vertex. So in this case, B is the letter that indicates vertex. The symbol acute angle is used to indicate an angle. Perpendicular. When two lines meet at the right angles, they are perpendicular to each other. The symbol right angle is used to show that lines are perpendicular. What is a quick angle? A quick angle is greater than zero degree, but less 90 degree. The measurement is inside. It should be between greater than zero and less than 90 degree. Right angle. A right angle is an angle of exactly 90 degrees. A square in the corner is usually used to represent 90 degrees. A right angle is formed between perpendicular lines. Example, X, Y, Z is equivalent to 90 degrees. Obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees. 90 degree, but less than 180 degree. Straight angle. A straight angle is an angle of 180 degree. A line is a considered to be a straight angle. If you can see from M, N, and O, is equivalent to 180 degree. So M to O is a straight line. Reflect angle. A reflect angle is an angle that is greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree. Revolution. Revolution is a complete turn and angle of exactly 360 degree. Okay. Measuring angles is less than 180 degree. So when you want to measure the angle which is less than 180 degree, so we can use protector. 
So how to use the protector, for example, given measure A, B and C. <clears throat> Place the center of the protector at B and align the baseline so that it sits on arm BC. Extend arm BA so that it reaches past the scale. Then read the inner scale ABC is equivalent to 50 degree. Here you go. You get already get the answer for ABC is 50 degree. And the second question is measure angles P, Q, R. Same things, you put the protector, the center of the protector at Q, and the baseline along QP. QP. Start at zero degree and read the outer scale PQR. So PQR, when you put the protector, so you start counting from zero and PQR is actually the answer is 105 degree. What is a complementary angle? Complementary angle is the angle in a right angle add up to 90. When the sum of the two angles is 90 degree, those two angles are complementary angle. So example given below, A plus B is equivalent to 90 degree. And X plus Y is equal to 90 degree. Supplementary angles, angle at the point made a complete revolution. So the sum of the angle at 180 degree. Those two angles are supplementary angles. Example, if you can see this is a straight line. So based on the rules, the total of the straight line is 180 degree. So A plus B must be equivalent to 180 degree. And X plus bracket 180 degree minus X is equal to 180 degree. Vertically opposite angle. Vertically opposite angle, when two lines intersect, two pairs of vertically opposite angle are formed. Vertically opposite angles are equal in size. If you can see, X is the same value of X, Y is the same value of Y. For the first example, two pairs of vertically opposite angle. If you can see, the angle marks X are equal to each other. So the angle mark Y are also equal to each other as what I already mentioned. And X plus Y, because it's a straight line, is equivalent to 180 degrees. Okay, types of quadrilaterals. For example, we have parallel logram. So, the parallel logram's property, we already know that opposite sides parallel are equal. Opposite angle are equal. Diagonal bisect each other. In this case, we can see that A is equal to C, A value, and B value is equal to D. Rectangle. How does the rectangle look like? So, opposite sides parallel and equal. If you can see, equal, parallel. And it's indicated with an arrow, parallel. All angles equals to 90 degree. Yes, you can see here in the diagram. It's a 90 degree. Diagonals are equal. Diagonal bisects each other. So is everything to penjuru? Diagonal is all equal. So if you have square, square opposite side parallel and equal. Okay, this value, this value, this length of value is the same. All angles is equal to 90 degree. 
and you can see this is 90 degree, 90 degree, 90 degree, 90 degree, it's all 90 degree. Diagonals are equal, diagonal bisect each other at 90 and diagonal bisect angle. Rhombus. Rhombus, this is a type of rhombus where A value is equal to C and B value is equal to D. So all sides equal in length, opposite sides parallel, opposite angles are equal, diagonal bisect each other at 90, diagonal bisect angles. These are the properties of rhombus. Trapezium. Trapezium is only one pair of sides parallel. You can see from the diagram itself. And finally, you have kites. Kites, two pair of adjacent sides are equal. One pair of opposite angle is equal. Diagonal intersect at 90, diagonal bisect angle, where you have a value of A, B, C, and D. A is equivalent to B, and C is equivalent to D. These are the criteria, or we call it as a property that you have to master or you have to memorize or you have to make it uh, something that is inside your mind. Okay, we have this uh, example here. Uh, it, the question is, you have to find the size of the mark angle uh, of these figures, parallelogram. So you can see that parallelograms, the opposite side is equal. Let's say it's given B is 70. If the, we know that the total of parallelogram is 180. So if given B is 70, and it asks you to find Y, definitely Y plus 70 is equal to 180. So Y is actually is 110. Sorry, Y is opposite side. That means if B is 70, the Y is also 70. It asks you to find the need the, the value of z is y plus uh, is y plus z is equals to 180. If you know already y is 70, z must be 110. Okay, rectangle. Rectangle given x plus 65 if 90. So if x plus 65 to 90, and x is actually 90 minus 65, and you get already x as 25. Okay, if x is 25, <coughs> if x is 25, then it's y, y is must be 65. Because why I say y is 65, the total of a triangle is 180. So if let's say x is 25, x 25, y is 65 if already 90 and at the p is already 90 so the total of the uh, triangle is 180 so definitely y is actually 65 and if you based on the rules that the opposite side of the angle is equal so if given q half of the q or x plus 65 is a 90 if let's say x plus 65 if 90, x is 25, and opposite sides of y is a 65, and y is, is actually taken the value of 65. <coughs> Excuse me. Quadrilateral. Quadrilateral is LKN. LKN. LKN is a total of, <coughs> is equivalent to. 360 minus 70 minus 65 minus 145 minus 80. And you know that the side of LKN, the, the value of the K here is 65. <coughs> you already know that the rules is the total of the triangle is 180. Okay, if LKN is 65, Okay, um, it's 65. Uh, how to get the value of x here? So, uh, kxy, that means kxy. Uh, LKN, LKN is 65. 
and kx kx kxy is also 65 because it's the same if you see this is parallel so if k is 65 x also take up the value of 65 if you find the value of x is you have to minus 180 minus 65 minus 65 then you get the value of x is equal to 50. that's all for today